right guys I've got the bromeliad in a planter as well and let me just kind of straighten the leaves there she is and she's looking really nice and and a nice little planter I don't know if you can tell it's got some glitter spray on it but it didn't come out exactly like I wanted because I thought I shook up the bottle or can enough when I was uh, spraying it but it had been sitting in the garage for a while it was kind of chilly out there actually is in the storage shed in the garage and it just kind of sprayed out and clumped so not quite as nice as I would like but still looks pretty decent and from a distance can't even really tell it also when I went outside um, I had this from the urban leaf it's a veggie collection seed collection so just kind of well I've already got it open right here okay so um, these came through the mail. It's a collection of seeds and it uh, gives some directions here about your garden and how to start your seeds and when I was at Home Depot I got a little seed starter tray with some peat pots and stuff and this right here we'll just uh, open these up. Um, also because these hadn't came when I was out I also got uh, some seeds to plant. Um, At Home Depot and Lowe's. So I got some watermelon, sugar babies. I got some tomatoes, some beefsteak tomatoes. I also got some brandywine pink tomatoes. Some summer squash. Some serrano chili peppers. Some more peppers, hot salsa blends. Okra. Another watermelon, another bush sugar baby. I think this it makes a smaller bush-like uh, versus a really large uh, watermelon plant. So hopefully we use this one and it will um, be a little smaller plant. And we've got some beans here, bush beans, some sweet peppers, tangerine dreams. I think those are going to be really colorful in the garden. And some other summer squash. So... The one was the Fort Knox, and this is the Straight Neck Saffron Prolifics. So I got those also over here. Another thing of watermelon, Crimson Sweets. So I'll probably uh, plant a couple of the Crimson Sweets and a couple of the uh, Bush uh, Sugar Babies because watermelons take a lot of water, uh, a lot of nutrients, a lot of work for them to really thrive. So probably not going to plant too many of them. But let's see what came in my pack. Let's see, right here, we've got some bell peppers. Yay. We also have some, oh, more beefsteak tomatoes. So you can never have too many tomato plants a going. Some cucumber. I did not get cucumber. Um, let's see what else we've got here. Uh, some winter squash. I may look, it's, I think it's got the growing directions here on the back. Uh, says about the temperature to plant and everything so we may be able to get these in the ground pretty soon um, I've never planted a winter squash so I don't know how they will work lettuce butternut lettuce now lettuce is a cooler weather plant too so I think lettuce cabbage all that can be grown in cooler weather uh, broccoli I've never grown broccoli before so we'll try that one let's see strawberries good I was looking at strawberry plants when I was at uh Lowe's and Home Depot and I forgot to pick up a pack so glad uh, they must be really small seeds because I don't hear anything and yeah if they're on the outside of strawberries those little dots are seeds then yeah so we'll have some strawberries may grow some in containers some in the ground and some carrots I've never grown carrots so one interesting thing when I was outside uh, I took some stuff to the compost bin to throw out when I was planting these um, one of my peppers plant pepper plants one of the pepper plants outside had a broken um, uh, limb so I took it put it in the compost bin and the compost bin outside had some green sprouts coming up and I just threw the onions in the outside compost bin because I didn't want those in my worm bin and they just were sprouting right out I dug one up it had this huge root ball on the bottom side of the uh, one part of the onion so I just pushed uh, pushed some dirt around them some soil and let's see if they'll grow and what they'll do
So anyway, uh, that's my seeds that I've got. Also, I have some uh, little uh, gourds over there I'm going to break open. They're more ornamental, so I may get some seeds out of them. <laughs> Obviously, you know, I've got my Southern Garden, uh, Southern Grove Gardens magazine. Um, you know, my uh, K. Van Borgen and some Seed Exchange, uh, Seed Savers Exchange uh, magazines. Um, I think I got those this little starter pack from something in one of them but uh yeah that's pretty nice that little uh urban leaf uh garden collection so you know nice little collection of stuff we can use to get in the ground but anyway until then i'm getting my soil prepared outside i've got my seed starter tray i bought today along with uh you know i've got plenty of peat moss some compost hopefully i'll have some worm castings to add to that by spring and I picked up a couple of other soils to mix in just to see if we can uh, get the soil going really well. And anywho, so there these are, the bromeliad and the uh, flamingo flower. So uh, flamingo lily, whatever it is. But um, yeah, they'll just add a little uh, color to the house. You know, obviously having plants inside adds oxygen, you know, they absorb carbon dioxide, put off oxygen, so that'll be really good. And, you know, just kind of brighten things up in here. And I'll probably move this, uh, the bromeliad, over to my uh, office and put him in there, or her in there, and leave this one here by the uh, French door. As you can see outside, uh, there was my burn pile. I burned some leaves around the tree. You know, just... Uh, outside so everything's kind of brown and gray but here's a little uh, color inside a little life and a little joy to look at all right guys well thank you for watching uh, keep on digging welcome back youtubers thank you for following me thank you for checking in and watching another video so today I am going to do some more uh, ornamental-like plants. Um, most of our videos are, you know, uh, edible gardens like the uh, figs and, you know, all our pepper plants that we've put out and stuff. So I'm going to work on a couple of uh, ornamentals for inside. It's winter and I'd like to kind of brighten and liven things up a little bit. So I'll show you what I've got and we'll um, go through and get them ready to put out on the display all right guys so what we're looking at here i've got a uh, small bromeliad here and i have a uh this is a flamingo flower here looks sort of like a one of those lilies or the pp plants with the little thing but um anywho it's a flowering uh, flamingo flower so these are both uh highlight house plants and I've got uh, this nice um, ceramic uh, pot I got at, I think this one came from Home Depot. And I got a smaller, just kind of plain Jane pot there. I may uh, spice it up a little bit, brighten it up. But anywho, uh, they came in these um, small planters, which this one really looks nice on its own right now. But um, I may put something in it later. But anywho... So we're going to take, put it, and I've got some soil outside. I have my uh, peat moss and my compost mixed and some perlite and stuff. So I'm going to mix up some soil to put them in these larger planters. And um, we'll get them in there and bring them back inside. Okay, guys. So I have this uh, flamingo flower in a pot. Um, got it planted. Sprayed it with some water. Uh, Got my soil mix in there, basically a little bit of the uh, uh, Organics Plus from miracle Grow, and a little perlite and some of the black velvet mushroom compost all mixed together. But that is her in this planter, so it looks really nice. It's here by the uh, French doors, so gets plenty of light. And when I get the other one put in, and I'll probably put it over by my office or in the dining room. Uh, somewhere else it could get a lot of light, but 
Anywho, I'll get that done and be back in a few minutes.